A warm welcome to today's talk, Friday the 23rd of February. Now, the Office for National Statistics in my country has changed the way that excess deaths are recorded. So we know there's been problems with excess deaths for some time in, in, the, in the United Kingdom, 2020, 2021, 2022, and into 2023. Large numbers of excess deaths. So they've re, now they're now recalculating the way that's done. And it looks in 2023 like the number of people dying are much less obviously the number of people dying in the country is the same but it now looks less and uh, i suspect the politicians or the government are going to be really pleased with this now you will be pleased to see that there is complete transparency in how this is uh, worked out so this is from the office for national statistics site telling us how this is all worked out so as you'll see it's all fairly uh, obvious and and self-explanatory so um i hope you're uh, Hope, hope you're reassured by the transparency there. To be fair, I do plan to talk to Professor Fenton about this and see what the heck is going on. Um, but if we look at some real examples from this, and then we'll be looking at some diseases where people are still dying in excess numbers in a minute. But if we just look at this, so what we see here is uh, the current method. So this is, this is um, September 2023, week 21. Current method... Um, 1,066 people died. New method, that goes down to 662. For week 24, it would have registered as 1,172. That goes down to 645. Uh, for week 32, it goes down from 427, more than usual dying, to 89, less than usual dying. So um, interesting that this new method is showing much lower numbers of deaths for 2023 albeit the same number of people died it now doesn't look like the same number of people died um week 20 week 34 uh, uh, current method would have given 484 now down to 144 uh, week 46 and i've just taken random examples here this is week uh, 46 September 2020, uh, sorry, uh, week 46, 2023. Um, the old method would have shown 378 excess deaths. Now there's 525 deaths less than would be expected. Again, 407 excess deaths down to 450 less than would be expected. I mean, this is just quite, um, uh, quite, quite significant reductions because I thought we had a problem here, but it looks like really we haven't. Week 51, it was uh, 647 excess deaths. Now it's down to 260 deaths, less than we would expect. So we've gone from a situation here where the, in that week where there was 647 excess deaths, more than we would expect, to actually 260, less than we would expect. So there's actually less people dying than we would uh, expect. As I say, we do need more clarification on this. Now, um, what we see, actually quite interesting, that these are the old and new methods. So 2020, current method would have given 884,000 excess deaths, new method 76,000, so that's a bit less. 2021, similar. Uh, 2022, the old method uh, would have given 38,000. The new method would have given slightly more, 43. But into 2023, which, of course, the one that's politically sensitive now, um, that's gone down from, uh, well, it's about a third of what it would have been, isn't it? So excess deaths are only a third of what they would be. Now, interesting as well, let's look at OECD statistics. Now, OECD statistics, um, in 2022, there was 52,000 deaths in the UK. So that's 52,000, a lot more than the, OE, the uh, Office of National Statistics figure. And the OECD uh, for 2023, weeks 1 to 44, it's already 49,000. So way more, so it's at least 50,000 um, for the first 40, 40, uh, 44 weeks. So the... Um, OECD is showing many more excess deaths uh, than the Office for National Statistics. 
and the Office of National Statistics is now showing even uh, less deaths than it would have done in 2023. Um, if you can control the information, of course, you control the narrative. I find this concerning. You might find it completely innocent. Looking at uh, deaths from various diseases. Now, this goes up to the end of 2023. So you see that there, there's a slight reduction, less deaths than you would expect. That's because of the delay due to Christmas. So this is ischemic heart disease. So we see that there's more ischemic heart disease. That's above the line. So anything above the line is excess. Anything below the line is decrease, less than we would expect. And we see that that is high for uh, cardio. Uh, that's excess mortality. That's ischemic heart disease. So ischemic heart disease is the reduction in the blood supply through the coronary arteries to the myocardium, causing angina and myocardial uh, infarctions. Would be the main pathologies there. Uh, this one here is for uh, cerebrovascular disease. So that's diseases of the brain like strokes. And we see again that they're mostly higher as well throughout 2022 and into 2023. And uh, of course, we know that these deaths are not, the majority of these deaths are not at all COVID related. This is heart failure. Now, we just see an incredible increase in heart failure. The last time there was less heart failure deaths than we would expect was just these odd instances back in 2022. So um, we're getting huge amounts of heart failure. Heart failure is where the heart is no longer able to generate sufficient cardiac output to meet the metabolic demands of the body, often with a backlog, often resulting in edema in the body or lungs. And of course, it can progress and is a terminal condition. Um, an explanation for this would be nice. Um, this So lots of heart failure. This one here is for um, other respiratory diseases. So we see that Far fewer people are dying from other respiratory diseases than we would expect. So ironically, uh, after COVID, which was a respiratory, uh, primarily respiratory pandemic, we're seeing less other respiratory diseases and way more cardiovascular diseases. Could there be something particular uh, generating this trend? And the other one that is concerning, this is the last one I'll do, is uh, cirrhosis of the liver. So this is deaths from cirrhosis of the liver uh, in England alone. Again, we see a slight decrease, but that's due to delays reporting because this only goes to the end of 2023. But we see huge increases in the people dying of cirrhosis of the liver. Uh, cirrhosis of the liver is uh, basically scar tissue in the liver. What happens very often is there's an inflammatory process in the liver cells. The cells get damaged and they're replaced with scar tissue. That is cirrhosis of the liver. You end up with a small, hard and unfunctional liver. And that will cause death through uh, hepatic failure over time. So um, decreases from the Office of National Statistics that sound good. Are they really good? Still lots of people dying from liver disease and cerebrovascular disease, heart disease, ischemic heart disease, heart failure. Way more people dying in the Office for Economic Development, uh, Office for Economic Cooperation and Development Statistics, OECD stats. Uh, 52,000 people dying in the OECD stats in 2022, uh, only uh, 38,000 uh, in the uh, Office of National Statistics numbers. So um, we used to trust Office of National Statistics absolutely implicitly, but these are tensions that need to be explained. And we'll just finish with one further tension that really could be uh, could be explained or would like to see it explained that that's all the references for that. Check it out for yourself. Uh, early heart disease rise to 14 year highs. We've looked at already over 100,000 excess deaths involved in the cardiovascular conditions in England. That's just in England. Over 100,000 excess deaths just from cardiovascular disease. Normally, and there's 140,000 people deaths every year, one, uh, one every four minutes. Horrendous number of deaths from this. 2022, over 39,000 people in England died prematurely of cardiovascular conditions, heart attacks, coronary heart disease, strokes, an average of 750 people a week, the highest total since 2008. So um, who was it said there's 
lies, darn lies and statistics. I don't know, but um, th th this needs a better explanation, in my view, than uh, posting that on the website. Um, yeah. See, this is obviously done by really clever people, isn't it? You know, the, the role of those morons is just to accept whatever whatever they say. Um, I think the communication from the uh, Office of National Statistics could be clearer. Make what you will of that. Uh, I find it concerning and look forward to further clarification. But for now, thank you for watching.